welcome to episode two of our brand new project, the Orkney series. Um, for anybody who didn't see our first episode, uh, Gina and myself, this is Gina. Hello! Um, we're travelling around Orkney, which is where we are very lucky to call home. And uh, we're going to different places that inspired the names of our tunes. I ventured out east today. Dun, dun, dun. And um, Gina's going to tell you a little bit about where we are today and what we're up to. Yeah, so today we find ourselves just across the water there is the parish of Ham. And for those of you who aren't so familiar with Orkney, Ham is sp spelt H O L M. You had a bit of trouble with it. Is that yeah, right? I used to think every time Mum mentioned it, I was getting it for my tea. So we're in the parish of Ham today, which is about eight miles southeast. Yes. Do you know, is that right? I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, of Kirkwall, which is uh, our main city. And it is a city. A huge city. Gigantic huge. it is. You can see behind us there, that's the village of St Mary's, which is also known as the Ham village. And uh, we've come out here to do the last or the first two tunes of uh, the set that we started in Bursi last week. Um, the tunes are the Ham Band tune and the Skeldakwai Point. So the two tunes that we're going to do today um, were both written by a man called Ronnie Aim and he for his whole life was a native of the parish of Ham which is just behind us. He um, was a prolific composer, probably one of Orkney's uh, most prolific composers of the 20th century. Many tunes the locals still all play today. Speaking of lots of people that play, he was a founding member of the Orkney Strathpey and Real Society and they meet regularly every Thursday when it's when they're allowed and permitted to do so. They meet at a place called The Real in the in the town, in the city, in Kirkwall and it's run by the Wrigley sisters. So if you're a musician yourself and fancy joining in or if you just want to go and hear some good tunes please go along on a Thursday, um, a Thursday evening. I think it's about 7.30 and you'll have a great night. So Ronnie was a member uh, of a very well-known band in Orkney called the Ham Band and uh, that's aptly what he named the tune, the Ham Band tune. And the Ham Band were known for playing at lots of different events all over Orkney. Harvest Homes, what else Gina? Oh, good country dancing. Good country dancing. <laughs> Moving on to our second tune, uh, which is called Skeldakoi Point. We've come down to St Mary's, the Ham Village, uh, to show you a little bit better where this next tune comes from. And if you follow Gina here behind me, she's going to get to the point. I shall be your tour guide. Anyway, so like Harf said, behind us here is um, the village, St Mary's, or the Ham Village. And then if we just follow it round, we're going to go out to the sea because it's a nicer view. Mm. And right there, I'm a bit high, right there is Skeldakoi. Skeldakoi Point. But you can't actually really see it right now because it kind of blends into one. <laughs> it is there. We promise. We promise. We actually had a little bit of fun and games trying to find Skeldakoi Point. Oh my gosh, we sure did. We actually must thank everyone. We took to Orkney Facebook Past and Present. Great site, it check it out. And um, yeah, we. I thought I was just being a numpty because I could not find the spelling of the tune Skelda on a map anywhere. I found instead Skelda. I knew it was in the East Mainland, but I was like, what is going on? It turns out, thank you everyone who helped us, it is the same place. Uh -huh. Basically, if you have a map, you will find Skelda, S-K-A-I-L. But years and years ago, it used to be spelt the way the tune is, S-K-E-L. And what happened is back in 1879 and 1880 is the last year that um, it was an ordnance survey map. It had both spellings on the map, but thereafter, from 1880 onwards, you can only find the spelling scaled at. So yeah, I guess the ordnance survey people just thought that that was the one that they would go with. We must That's point. Good knowledge, you well, know. thank you. I feel very smart. Very impressed. We must point out, though, however. Um, Basically, it's like, I guess it's like an oral tradition though, like when you learn music years ago, stuff wasn't uh, written down. Loads of people we know here in Orkney don't actually read music, they just learn by ear. Um, and I guess it's the same with tune names or many other things as well. It's just passed down over the years. So it doesn't really matter how you learn, or how you say it. It's the same place and it's just, just as good. <laughs> I'd like you to bear that in mind as you listen to us playing these tunes in the next couple of minutes. Oh, um, if you 
God forbid, think that you've heard a wrong note, don't be fooled. It's not that. No. It's never. not that, never. Um, and what it is is that we've just gone with that very theme and, and evolved the tune. So, hope you enjoy that. Enjoy the show! <laughs> <laughs> 